Hey guys! Again, I am so, 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 so sorry for waiting so long to get back at this. Um, listen, uh, the last time I updated, April the 27th, I was in a really, not a bad place. Um, I'm just not in the best place right now to be able to update, and I thought I would be able to update on a regular basis, but I just can't. Um, I'm gonna try and do that from here on out, now that I've got a better handle of my schedule. It was a little bit after my last update, um, I started going to school. Uh, uh my work got a whole lot busier. <laughs> I got, um, I got a lot more hours, thank God, but it's still barely enough to cover all the expenses I have from here on out. So, um, so yeah. I'm just kind of hanging in there to the best of my abilities, and we can finally get back to this. So again, I know it's been about three months since my last update, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and bust these out quickly as possible, probably at least once a day, um, every new episode, uh, depending on how busy I get. I'm not sure, because um, I know i got to leave in about another, I have to start getting ready for school in about another half hour, maybe 15 minutes, so this is going to really bust out really quickly. Um, so yeah, we had a really nice harvest day today. Yes, I will keep deflecting from the reason why I had to keep going um, going on hiatus, even though I'm not really on hiatus, I was just being, not lazy, but just kind of reorganizing all my priorities so this way I could give you a better product. Anyway, back to this. From what I can recall, this is supposed to be a really big harvest day, and thank God it was on a Monday. Because you have no idea how annoying it gets when you have a huge harvest day, your field is totally empty, and it's on a Tuesday or a Sunday that this happens. Why is it so horrible that you have this on a Tuesday or a Sunday? Because the, um, what is it? The supermarket is closed. On Sundays and uh, Sundays and Tuesdays, it is closed, totally, completely, and utterly closed. And when you want something and you actually have the money for it, but then the place you have is closed, and you have to wait until the next day, um, it's more annoying in real life, I think, because you have to wait a whole day before it finally comes out. But here, it's like, oh, you just have to wait until the next day, which is what, ten minutes? Each day, you can basically go through in about ten, maybe twelve minutes. In this case, it's twelve minutes, fifty-seven seconds, or so. It'll probably show up on YouTube as like 12 minutes, 58 seconds, or excuse me, whatever. Um, anyway, so we are going to keep making friends with everybody. Today is the 16th, which means today is Ellie's birthday. Not Ellen's birthday, Ellie's birthday, the nurse lady. And I just ate that root, didn't I? Oh, well. Screw it, it's no big deal. Um, anyway, we were trying to, what was I trying to do, trying to get into the, um, thing. I wanted to try and update my, um, upgrade my, what was it, my house. Excuse me, I've been a little bit distracted lately. I've got a thousand things going on in my mind. Um, we want to upgrade the house so we can finally get the kitchen. But from what I can recall, we don't get the kitchen until, um, until a couple days before the, um, the cooking festival, which is not nearly enough time to get any of the equipment you really need. And I mean really need. Like, the first thing you're going to want to get is a mixer. Oh, I guess we do get inside. Oops. Um, I'm trying to be nice to gods. Something I've noticed uh, later on, that if you don't try to make friends with gods after a while, he gets, like, a couple years into the game, he gets all into depression emo mode. Um, just, it's justified, of course, because, come on, he lost his wife and child. I don't even know, remember if it's a son or a daughter. I have a, like, a feeling deep inside that it's a daughter. So, um, yeah, I like to be very careful about what I throw in there, because you cannot get that stuff back. Anyway, um, I don't recall if it's a son or a daughter, but I have a feeling that it's going to be a daughter. I don't know why. It's kind of, maybe I'm just a little sexist. I don't know. I think we're all a little sexist on the inside. Anyway, uh, let's go back. We are trying to get into the supermarket. And we're gonna, there's a wonderful, interesting thing that they introduced into this game, is the ability to go to the supermarket and get your gifts wrapped. I don't recall if this gives it a little extra boost, I think it's like maybe two or three friendship points or something like that, but it's um, well worth it. I feel better if I wrap something for somebody's birthday. Um, I won't be able to do it very often, if only because, one, the supermarket will sometimes be closed, two, I only get to see them later on. Especially once summer rolls around, you're going to get really busy because you have a thousand different things that you get to um, forage 
from the place, which means getting the basket as soon as possible, and or getting the rucksack first. From what I can recall, we're going to get the rucksack first, um, and then the basket for um, for when we go mining, especially in the winter. Get the basket before you get get into the winter season, because you can make so much money doing this. Um, my only issue, um, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do about winter because whenever I hit a Harvest Moon game and I get into that winter session, I know I always put my birthday in during winter, but there's a reason for it. I hate the winter season because there is absolutely nothing to do during winter. Hello, Ellie. You ready to enjoy your birthday? Thanks, I'm happy to get birthday presents no matter how old I get. Even though I'm probably only 15 or 20 years old, the game is very ambiguous about that. Anyway, back to this. Um, what was I mentioning before? I was talking about how I hate winter. Winter is a very boring month, especially in this game where you can't plant anything. The only thing you can do is take care of your animals, which is fun in and of itself, and by then you'll have enough animals where you can keep yourself occupied for maybe a couple minutes. But the biggest issue that I have with this game is that while you're in the mines, time does, does just stops. It completely stops and it means you can't just kill time. The only way to kill time while you're mining is to go into the mines, do your thing, get back out, um, ship out all the gems and crap that you just harvested and then sit in the hot springs for an hour and then go back to the mines and rinse and repeat and that gets boring and repetitive after a while so please forgive me if I end up going on like a hiatus or some stupid thing like that or if I um like just kind of doze off in the middle of my commentating because it is so boring and I hate it and I have to get go be busy with other games or reading or something, anything, just to keep myself occupied while I'm playing this game. Oh no, Popery, you poor thing. So horrible to have a brother that loves you and wants to take care of you and all that. Not that I have a brother issue or anything. I love my brother. He and I can talk about all kinds of different things, but more often than not, I'm taking care of him because, you know, he's my younger brother. And we have a very symbiotic relationship for the most part. Don't go upstairs. Please don't go upstairs. Something interesting about the Harvest Moon games, they won't let you go upstairs into their rooms until you they really, really like you. Which is kind of interesting because I know by the end of summer, I'm pretty much best friends with that family and they still won't let me go upstairs into their room. It's so awkward. Um, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, my brother and I have a really good relationship. We just butt heads a lot more. And I guess that's the, kind of the same thing between Potpourri and... Uh, and Oh crap, I forgot his name. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot his name. I will remember it. This is how long I've been away from this game. This is like the second, maybe third time I've been looking over this footage. And this is, I still can't remember. Why am I keep going back in here? Um, I've been trying to trigger the scene. I'm not sure if I've already triggered the scene with you guys or not. But I'm trying to trigger the scene where Popery goes to get um, her mom's birthday gift. Um, for her birthday, which is tomorrow, I think. The 17th. I'll have to look that up again. I need all my data sheets again. Um, I need to see if my computer still has it, because you never know what bugs have been munching on my memories. I'm just that horrible at it. Get out of the way. Ah. Sorry, I had to back up a little bit because that vine is just annoying. Duke uh, is the local drunk. Yes, I said that right. He is the local drunk. He, too bad the bar only serves at night. A glass of wine, that's all he wants. He owns, and people, he owns a winery. It's kind of horrible that way. Um, interesting, though, um, they have a daughter. Duke and Mana have a daughter named Aja, who um, went out to the city to be a race car driver or something along those lines, and apparently Harris, the policeman, uh, the mayor's son, actually really likes her, but apparently she has a boyfriend or has a fiancé or something like that. So, um, after a while, what was it? Duke adopts, um, I've forgotten everybody's name, this is so horrible, Duke adopts, what's his face, the sexy bum guy from the <laughs> church, I'm sorry, I've been so out of the loop for so long, but anyway, he adopts him, and he takes over the winery, I know in, um, Harvest Moon, the PSP version for boys and girls, you, um, once you get married to him, it starts with a C, starts with the C. I can't remember his name. He, if you get married to him, which I always did because I thought he was hot and all that, um, 
he um, he makes you take over the winery and you don't even get to do that for a while. Sorry, I forgot that I need to fill up on that. Anyway, you fill up on the winery. That's how much we made. That is awesome. $4,300 is pretty good. $4,300 gold is actually really good. That means we're finally ready to get the upgrade to our house. It's going to take three days for it to get upgraded. Uh, keep doing the cucumbers. Did I ever throw cucumbers into the lake just yet? I don't think so. I don't think I have. I knew I forgot something. I'll do, I know I do it later on. I know I get the Kappa Berry sometime later into the spring. Like I said, I have everything pre-recorded all the way up to the first of summer. That reminds me, um, a little thing, people who have been wanting, um, I've had like one or two people asking me, hey, why don't you do it until um, such and such time beyond the five, um, five year limit that I've placed upon myself so that we can get these special houses. See, these special houses are the um, vacation houses. One is supposed to be like the sea house. Um, you can get a piece of property on along the um, ocean for, what was it, like a hundred million gold? Something like that. Then you have a mountain villa that is a, um, I don't even know, I don't remember where you get that. It's some kind of anniversary. It's like 10 years or 50 years or something? It's 50 years. It's 50 years into the game. And then the last one is the, um, other one. I can't remember what the, um, what the requirements are for that one, but I know it's going to take a long ass time just to get it. And it's one of the things that you can do to um, get the, um, get the, not the Kappa jewels, the Truth jewels, which are fairly easy to get, but once I get all the houses, I'll be able to show you exactly what the Truth jewel will look like for you. But, um, before I do that, I, I have to make a confession. I did actually do a little cheat because you guys wanted to see the houses. I want to show you guys the houses. I want to show you guys the Kappa jewels. So I had a little cheat to give me all three houses. They will not appear until sometime in the summer, I believe, as when I did it. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. I know I sold out. You can boo me and all that good stuff, but I will not be doing any other cheats. I'm not asking for a million gold. There's no point in that. We're already pretty far ahead of ourselves, especially for spring. Halfway through the first season, first ever season, and we've almost hit the 5,000 mark. So it's probably better that um, from here on out, beyond the house, three houses, we are not doing any kind of cheats. Because I want to show you how to woo everybody and all that good stuff. Anyway, so that is the end of our day. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Okay, bye.